Hey, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I got a bunch of emails that they asked me how will I be hanging the 4x8 plexiglass screen, which I have over here hanging on my wall. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to hang the screen. Now, depending on the size of the plexiglass or the thickness, you got to be careful because some of this stuff will crack on you. Um, I say the best way is to drill the screen, drill a hole in the screen, and then place the screw in. It's up to you on how you do it. Um, but I'm going to show you a few ways on how to hang plexiglass. Now, uh, one of the ways you can do it if your screen is actually, my screen is 4x8, but if you have one, it's actually 3x6. Uh, I can say the best way you can hang that is with scotch double tape. Do not take this stuff as a joke. It's very strong. I literally had to remove a screen with a crowbar one time off the wall because it literally stuck that well. Also, too, if you have screens that are smaller than the uh, 3x6, then you can go with the 3M. 3M actually works excellent also. Now, let me show you how I hung this screen. Now, I'm going to tell you the first trick you want to do is basically you want to turn the screen around to the back. Now, my, just keep in mind, just imagine if this is the screen right here. What you want to do is you want to basically put your lights around the screen, not at the very edge. You want to put them about that far into away from the um, the um, actual edge of the screen. You want to put it all the way around from here to here. You want to leave a little bit of room in there. And the reason why is because you want to put these little feet here and here. Now the feet are fantastic because they cause a coffee table effect for the screen to actually stand up off the wall. But also too when you're driving your screws in, your screws don't only go so far because any farther the screen will bend over top the feet and it'll show you that you're going too far into the screen or actually too far into the wall. So it just gives you a bit of a uh, safety there to keep from going but so far in. Alright now uh, once all that's done all you have to do is just flip the screen back over, lift it up, and put it on something high like a crate. Any, anything you're going to use to actually put it to the height of what you're going to, where you're going to have it at on your wall. This is the fastest way for me. Now I use my speaker boxes, my vintage speaker boxes down here. This is a vintage uh, 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 track player, I think um, reel to reel track player. I used that to actually prop the screen up on top of it because number one, it allowed me to level the screen off perfectly, but it also to allow me to drive the screws into the screen uh, without me, the screen actually having somebody here to hold the screen. Maybe their side might not be up high enough or might not low enough and, it may, and the screen may come, out crook, may come out crooked. Now this is where I drove my screws to right here. And as you can see the other the feet are right there. So I was able to bring mine out just a little bit more because I have a light switch right there. So I had to bring it out just a little more. The feet couldn't kiss the wall like I wanted to. Now, I'm not worried about the screws because I just recoat that over with screen paint. It just blends right on in. Nice little camouflage effect and you won't even see it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and I'm going to take the projector off blank mode right there so we got a projector off blank mode and then I'll come in here and I'll just hit the lights all right so there's the lights got in green for some reason one in blue one our lights in blue 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 okay set the right remote control sorry about that I just grabbed my wrong remote control I'm trying to get the lights over in blue all right let's see what's going on here lights off it's on there we go got a little malfunction here. The problem I don't like is the fact that the remote control for some reason for the projector for some reason makes the lights act up a bit. So we'll try it again. Try to get our blue in there. Okay, once we stuck on green. It happens when you mess with that remote control. It'll do that. It'll cause the lights to just flicker in one color. Sometimes you have to reset them. Nope, doesn't want to switch over. I don't know why. The technical difficulties here. Let's see if we can get it in red. Okay, there we go. Was I pressing the wrong? I was pressing the wrong color. Doo -doo. It happens, people. It happens. I was pressing the wrong color. There we go. I got it. I got it. It happens. Come on now. We all can't be perfect. All right, so there we are. So we got our neon lights set up. Um, I'm going to start the video really quick. There you go. You can see my fish. You see the backlight effect. Looks really nice. Now we're doing this in a fully lit environment, plenty of light, that's the beautiful thing about our screens. This screen right now, right here I'm using is the uh, Eclipse Dark Slate. Uh, it's using smart technology game time 7. Let's go over here and let's open up our windows because I like a lot of light in my environment. So come over here and let's open up our windows here. Our blinds, we're going to let plenty of light in. Alright, so plenty of light coming in. Come over and swing over here and look at the screen. And it looks absolutely incredible. Look at this. 
this is why it was important for me to have the screen in here. Well, all our screens have amazing um, game technology, but with this, with our screen paint, like I said, we do demonstrations that others won't do. A lot of people hide their screens in the dark. We don't do that here. And if you notice, my projection screen is not laying up against my windows. I don't want that. You know what I mean? I want as much light in my environment as possible. This is where I work. All right, for those of you who want to see the demonstration with the lights out, let's close our blinds here. Let's close them over here. All right, and let's come over here and let's hit our lights. And voila. Now mind you, I actually, um, the screen paint that, like I said, that we used, the dark slate, this is the older version, the newer one is actually the TI-47, but this is the older version, uh, I didn't have to use a paint sprayer for the plexiglass, didn't have to prime it, just rolled over it, that's basically about it, about two coats, and that was it, and I was done, and there you go, this is, this is the results I get from my technology. Projector has never been calibrated, we're doing this in 720p, and we're still in the factory default settings. Look at that. Look how fantastic that screen looks. Now this screen paint is 4K and 3D ready. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Thank you all again for your time.